Okay, I just showed you a little bit of the triple option. Off that triple option, I'd like to show you some play action passes that have been very good to us over the years. Very simple in the fact that, uh, again, base rules uh, extend to our passing game just like they did to the running game. We like to eliminate all the gaps by our offensive linemen, and in some cases we use backs to go ahead and fill up the gaps where our linemen can't uh, take care of all the um, defenders when they start to come. So it kind of gives us a little bit of a brace. What's going to happen to you is, number one, in the play-action pass, the one thing you try to do is, however you're blocking the perimeter, if you were switch blocking the perimeter, if you were vertical, if you were arc blocking the perimeter, if you were load blocking the perimeter, you want to have your play-action pass routes run just the same, just like they were running off of that. So in other words, if you were running a load scheme and you were loading the linebacker to safety, and this guy was outside releasing for the cover three corner, and then you'd run the same thing. Now, you can run the same route, and our base play would just be to go ahead and run a little flat, high, high corner on a flat player. If the flat player sees the option coming at him, chances are he sees this guy blocking, he's going to come up now real hard to play the play. There's nobody in the flat. So now you go ahead and you can drop him back out over the top. If the free safety is coming through the alley in a hurry, you can go ahead and do the same thing. Instead of that, you could just call instead of just 312 regular, just go 312 vertical. And send that guy on a vertical route. And this would tell this guy to go ahead and do a vertical route also. If you're going to run switch blocking, let's say you had four across in the secondary, and now you're switch blocking the perimeter all day, now you just call 312 switch. And what happens is now he just goes, instead of running the switch route, he starts going in here, he runs a post, and he runs a wheel. And it's going to come off the same look to these defenders, the guys you're trying to take advantage of, which would be the free safety or the strong safety, or some cases where the corner comes off on a route and doesn't on your wide receiver, you're going to take advantage of those same guys, the same guys that are seeing these blocking schemes ahead of them. They have nothing, they have no view inside here as far as reading covered or uncovered linemen. All they're seeing is what's coming at them right now. The reason you try to do it is because you try to run everything at them so fast that they don't have the time to think. They want them to go ahead and react. And what you want to do is have those guys react to the blocking scheme coming at you. To protect this play action pass, to protect the play action pass, we have very simple rules. It wouldn't matter which defense you lined up there, you would be like this. The play side wide receiver and the play side A back, they're always going to run the route. They're going to be route runners. It'll be a two way route. The play side tackle, his rule would be base. In other words, if he's covered, he would base. If he's uncovered, he would block out, or we'd call it white. So if he had a two-eye and a seven technique, he's uncovered, he would block, turn out on the seven technique. If he had a two-eye and a five technique, he would turn on the five, he'd base the five technique. Again, covered, uncovered on our rules. Our play side guard. You can actually use three rules for your play side guard. Let's say you come up against the defense end, it's just a real man, and you have a real problem blocking him with the backside slot coming around or the fullback coming up there to get him. So you can call, if he's covered, he would base, which is always a mandatory. If he's undercovered, he can pull for number two. In this case, this is number one. Touch and tackle, next guy out would be number two, so he'd pull and he'd block out there. That sometimes is good to you, but one thing it does do is it leaves you a little soft in the middle here, especially with backside linebacker run through. So we don't always do that unless this guy right here is a real, real man. Other than that, we would block down.